Advisory to Foundation Personnel. Requests to transfer to SCP-7898 are to be approved by Dr. Balfair. Transfer requests lacking proper authorization will not be added to the waitlist. Current transfer wait time. 3 years, 45 days. Item number. SCP-7898. Level 2 Restricted. Containment Class. Safe. Disruption Class. Dark. Risk Class. Critical. Special Containment Procedures. All 122 existing instances of SCP-7898 are currently held in a specialized atrium habitat in Site-109. Upper atrium windows of SCP-7898's containment are to be uncovered for a minimum of 5 hours per day, adjusted on overcast days to provide SCP-7898 sufficient sunlight. Atrium windows are to be covered and the containment area filled with aerosol sedative during blood-sun cycles. Any new instances of SCP-7898 and SCP-7898-1 are to be incinerated. The town of Field Spring has been demolished and its existence expunged from public record. Description SCP-7898 is an arcanoid parasitic creature that inhabits human bodies for locomotive and reproductive purposes. SCP-7898 nests in dark, dry, enclosed spaces, most commonly inside the walls and crawl spaces of houses, and subsists on sunlight. Footnote 1. Non-predatory UV light. In a process similar to photosynthesis. SCP-7898-1 instances are the full human bodies used by SCP-7898 for locomotion. SCP-7898-1 instances retain the ability to move and speak similarly to non-anomalous humans, but lack many bodily functions, including eating, drinking, and waste expulsion. SCP-7898-1 instances also seem incapable of experiencing or expressing negative emotions, even in response to physical pain or megadental events. SCP-7898 themselves measure between 15 to 25 centimeters in length and typically weigh between 4 to 6 kilograms. Footnote 2. Non-sentient kilograms. Depending on the age of the host, with six legs visually similar to a spider. Footnote 3. Observers specifically mention similarities to the non-anomalous horse-eater spider. While any of SCP-7898's original sensory organs are not visible outside the carapace, observations suggest that SCP-7898 navigates using smell and hearing when not attached to an SCP-7898-1 instance. SCP-7898 was originally discovered in the town of Field Spring. Footnote 4. Located in the area formerly West Virginia. There were no survivors. Addendum 1. Life Cycle of SCP-7898. Based on discoveries from both Field Springs and Foundation experimentation, the observed life cycle of SCP-7898 is as follows. Phase 1. A mature instance of SCP-7898 will hide within the hollow walls of a building, most frequently a house, where it waits for a suitable host. Phase 2. The instance will break through the drywall from within, grab the head of the host, and use a sharp appendage to implant an egg in the host's ear. Phase 3. The host experiences mental fog, manic episodes, head and neck pain, and neck muscle weakness. Phase 4. The host feels compelled to keep their head inside small, dark places, such as under blankets or in containers. Phase 5. The host will force their own head through a wall. Life signs cease. Phase 6. The host's head rips off of the neck, and arachnoid appendages of a fully mature SCP-7898 instance emerge from the mouth, ears, and throat. Experiment Log Experiment Extracting SCP-7898 egg from host after implementation Result Failure Host subject brain death Experiment Denial of a suitable nesting space to a growing SCP-7898 instance Result Subject attempts to break head through concrete wall Dies Experiment Consumption of SCP-7898-1 instance Result Subject becomes severely ill and expires. SCP-7898 reclassified to a Class W-74 inedible corpse. Experiment SCP-7898-1 instance taken outside during a rending event. Result SCP-7898-1 instance increases dramatically in physical strength, infecting two accompanying personnel before being terminated. Instance remains incinerated. Experiment Exposure to unfiltered fresh water. Footnote 5. Treated as to not dissolve its container. Result. No notable effect beyond ordinary chemical burns. Experiment. Exposure to untreated seawater from the Panarctic Ocean. Footnote 6. 
treat it as to fit into the building. Result, integrates with the water, becomes transmissible through any physical contact with water as evident by multiple cases among attending staff. Water sample destroyed. Note, this anomaly has been marked as a primary candidate for the Developing Salvation Initiative, a program to temporarily reassign recently traumatized researchers to safer, less stressful anomalies due to its low staff death rate and similarity to mundane and ordinary phenomena. Thank you all for watching, and a special thanks to all my patrons. If you want to help support this channel, go ahead and visit my Patreon for early access to videos, skip recommendations, and other Patreon benefits.